Jeannie, what's up? You look so happy. Haven't you heard? Big Mouse just won the election. Mm. And now everything's going to change for the better. Every four years, politicians make promises of how they're going to change this and that. But in the end, nothing changes. Have you noticed anything getting better for the average person? This time's different. Big Mouse promised to raise the minimum rate, rate and lower the cost of the houses for first-time buyers. Furthermore, we are not going to worry about food anymore because Big Mouse says he's serious about food safety. <laughs> that sounds just like what Big Mouse's predecessor said four years ago. He promised to narrow the income gap between the rich and the poor and make it easier for young people to buy homes. Has any of that happened? I don't think so. Wow, Thomas, you are such a pessimist. You should be thankful that we live in a democracy system where people make the decisions instead of an emperor or a king making decisions for us. I'm not a pessimist okay. or an optimist. I am just a realist. Moreover, just because it's called democracy doesn't mean it always works in the best interest of the majority. What do you mean? Of course it works in the best interest of the majority. That's what a democracy system does. Yeah, if it were a democracy of the people, by the people, and for the people, it might work that way. Unfortunately, in today's democracies, money talks and... Ooh. Are you crazy? Anyone can become president nowadays, and now everyone has an equal opportunity to do what they want to do. Really? Let's say that both you and I want to be president, and I have $5 billion in my bank, and you have zero. Who do you think is going to win the election? You would, I guess. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And this is why the wealth gap keeps getting wider. Because when someone gives a politician a huge amount of money to help him or her get elected, that someone is going to expect something in return. Are you saying that politicians are not interested in helping the average person? Mm. It's not that politicians don't want to do what's best for the people. It's just that, in many cases, their hands are tied because if they don't look after the people who donated money to them, how are they going to get the money that they need to get reelected? You know what? I think our democracy system needs an upgrade. One that takes money out of the equa equation. Mm -hmm. And but now, how are we able to change anything? We are just average people, right? These are good questions, Jeannie. Thanks for being with us today. Now we are going to have a discussion on the history of democracy and the problem of democracy system. So Thomas, can you start introducing the history of democracy then? Well, democracy, according to most historians, appeared around 508 BC in Athens, Greece. Uh, at that time, apparently, the men of Athens, some of the men of Athens, decided that it should be only adult male citizens who owned land that should make all of the decisions for society. So in other words, those slaves or those right, people from other countries and even women 
will not be able to vote or to express their opinions in Greece then? That's exactly correct, Jenny. Um, in other words, um, only a small section of society, adult male citizens who own land, were able to vote. Uh, that basically excluded about 85% of society. So in essence, in our first democracy, only about 15% at the most of the people of Athens, Greece, were eligible to vote, participate. And Thomas, I'm curious about the history of right about women. When do women or when did women really get the chance to vote? So I did a little research because mm -hmm. uh, I was surprised to find out that I think the first uh, country that uh, gave women the chance to vote is actually a part of Finland. Mm. when uh, it was still ruled by the Russian Empire. And it's in 1906, mm -hmm. so it's not really long ago. And we now refer to the United States as the leader of the democracy system. And actually, the US always right, tells everybody to follow <laughs> the US to follow the democracy system. And actually, the United States of America, uh, actually that country gave women the chance to vote in 1920. So it's not even 100 <laughs> years ago. And when they gave women the right to vote, actually the African American, or we say the blacks, was still out of that group then. And Thomas, do you know when do the Chinese or mm. we get the chance to vote? I, I, I do not, but I would say that this is a common problem that we have with democracy. Um, when looking at democracy, we've got to really define what democracy is. Uh, because people have an idea uh, that our countries, our nations are democratic. But without really understanding the definition of democracy, the question arises, how democratic are our democracies? So yeah, I guess the question would be, right, when women would be really happy, they get the chance to vote. But at the same time, do we really know, right, after we vote, what will happen afterwards? So can you explain how the democracy system works? Well, first let's have a look at what democracy is. Many people have their definitions, but let's just look for a definition that matters. And what matters in a democracy is opportunity for the people to participate equally in the decision-making processes of society. So we can say that democracy is basically a collective, which is a group working together, a collective expression of people making decisions. So democracy, we can say, is a collective expression of equality. The equality being the degree to which people have the opportunity to equally participate in society. Therefore, if we see, okay, democracy is the ability to participate in society, what we want to ask ourselves, how much ability does each person have to participate in society's decision-making processes? Currently, what most countries have is called representative democracy. And if we look at representative democracy, for example, of the United States, we see that only a very, very, very small minority of the people are making the decisions for the majority of people. So in reality, if, if there are 100 people in a collective and 90 of them 
have the ability, the opportunity to participate equally in the decision-making processes, then we would say that that democracy is functioning at 90% of its potential. We could give that democracy a grade of 90. Vice versa, if we turn that around and look, for example, at the United States to see how many people are actually participating in the decision-making processes, we see that it's less than 1%. Therefore, in reality, if we grade the democracy of the USA, it would receive a failing grade of less than 1% because that is the percentage of the people that are participating, actually making the decisions for all of society. Herein, well, we have the technology these days to include more people. The question is, why are we not including more people in the democratic decisions? So, Thomas, you were saying, because we vote, when we vote, we select some representatives, mm -hmm. and we were hoping, right, these representatives right, will speak, right, for our, maybe for our benefits, and really do something for these voters. But, in fact, it's usually not the case. So in Taiwan, some people are not so satisfied with the lawmakers because they think they are now just representing a small area. And I think it's the same thing in the U.S. Because when, well, I do have some friends is uh, doing this, right? They need to uh, welcome these right, visitors from the United States. And so from the particular states, maybe the Senate or other lawmakers, they are trying to sell their products from the state or the area they are representing. So they are not doing things right for the voters. They are trying to keep right their positions. Power. Yeah. Right. The, the problem is, uh, and this is the problem with all of our systems in the world, is money. Money is the dominant system which infiltrates and regulates all other systems. For example, in democracies, in order to get elected, politicians often need large sums of money. Those sums of money come from the wealthiest individuals in society. And for the most part, I wouldn't say that they just give that money without expecting anything in return. So in order to get elected, politicians need money, and that money comes from uh, the wealthy, for the most part, 1% of society. Therefore, if a politician wants to do something good, but then that person who gave him money or her money says, hey, I need this law passed, what is the politician going to do? He or she has to consider the money aspect, and often the money gets considered before the people. So I think that sadly is the case, right, in both Taiwan and the United States. And Thomas, you were also saying we can use new technologies mm. to being able to participate in the democracy. Exactly. We're in the digital age. Now we have the ability to include all of the people's voices in all of the decision-making processes of society. Google does it. Facebook does it. Why are our democracies still limiting the voices of the people. A democracy is graded upon the opportunity by which people have to participate. The more opportunity that people have to participate, the higher the grade of the democracy. Therefore, I suggest we upgrade our democracies to the digital age. So I think that's the reason why the mayor in Taipei City is right introducing i voting because wow. he really wants right more people to participate in decision making so mm. thomas thanks for discussing with us about the subjects of democracy today so thanks you all for hearing us today we hope to see you in the future goodbye thank you goodbye
So Thomas, let's look at the vocabulary on the unit, democracy, from its Greek origins to its modern day potential. Predecessor, predecessor, noun. 前任, a person who held the job or office before the current holder. The new president is different from her predecessor. Growth hormone, growth hormone, noun. 生长激素, a hormone that stimulates growth in animal or plant cells, especially in animals. Ractopamine is a growth hormone that is used in animal feed. Pessimist, pessimist, noun. 悲观主义者, one who has a tendency to expect the worst in everything. Thomas is not a pessimist. He just does not ignore the negative. Realist, realist, noun. 现实主义者, a person who can look at things at they are and deal with it in a practical manner. Bernard was a realist who saw things as they were, not as people imagined them to be. Hierarchical system, hierarchical system, adjective. 意思是等级制度, a system in which members of an organization or society are ranked according to relative status or authority. In the hierarchical system of money, the more money one has, the more opportunity he or she has to participate in society. Eligible, eligible, adjective. 有资格的, having the right to do or have something. Only adult male citizens who owned land were eligible to participate in the democracy of Athens. Potential, potential, noun. 潜力, having the unrealized capacity to develop into something in the future. The man in the photo is a young broadcaster with great potential. Aspect, aspect, noun. 方面, a particular part or future of something. There are many aspects of a problem to consider while designing a solution. Biosphere, biosphere, noun. 生物圈, the regions of the surface and atmosphere of the earth. A healthy biosphere is critical to human life. Majority, majority, noun. 多数, the larger number or percentage of society representing more than half of the population. The majority of voters decides the president election's results. Minority, minority, noun. 少数, the smaller number or percentage of society representing less than half of the population. A very small minority now controls more than half of the world's wealth. Constitute, constitute, verb. 构成, be a part of a whole. Each human constitutes an equal part of humanity as a whole. Dominate, dominate, verb. 支配, to have power and or influence over someone or something. Money is the consideration that dominates many of our decisions. Override, override, verb. 废除, to use authority to cancel, reject, or nullify an argument or a decision. The legislative UN insisted on overriding the current minister's budget vetoes. Collective, collective, noun. 集体, or 集合, a cooperative project or enterprise. Democracy is the collective expression of the population. Quantify, quantify, verb. 量化, to measure or express a quantity or degree of something. 
We can use the distribution of wealth to quantify people's ability to participate equally in society. Destitute, destitute, adjective. 贫困的, extremely poor or lacking the means to provide for oneself. I have never seen a president who was destitute. Ballot, ballot, noun. 选票, a system of voting secretly and in writing on a particular issue. This year, there were three names on the ballot for president. Expression, expression, noun. 表达, the action of making known one's thoughts, feelings, or understanding. Each member of society contributes to the collective expression of society. Status quo, status quo, noun. 现状, states of affairs regarding social or political issues. Some politicians may want to keep the status quo in order to stay in power. So now we have two questions about the vocabulary we just learned together. So Thomas, how about you read the first question? Okay. When it comes to the operation of an, organiz of an organization, do founding members beep the organization and make critical decisions? A. Dominate. B. Realist. C. Quantify. D. Minority. So please pick the answer. So here is our second question. In Taiwan, citizens must be 20 years old or older to be beep to vote in any election. A. Potential. B. Constitute. C. Surmise. D. Illegible. So please choose the right answer for us. So thank you for listening to us today. We'll see you next time. See you.